Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and if you don't know me, I build a lot of Framer tutorials. I build a lot with Framer. Framer is basically like my, my favorite no-code tool <clears throat> because not only can you build like stunning landing pages with Framer with nice, you know, gradients, nice little animations, nice little patterns in the background, um, basically nice design. Uh, Framer also has an amazing community that it's it's growing every single day. There's so many people con uh, contributing to the community, building amazing plugins, building great projects. And what I want to say is that not only can you build, you know, great landing pages with Framer or great multi-page marketing pages for a client or, or, or for a business, right? You can also create web apps. You can create marketplaces. You can create subscription websites. You can create online portals. You can create online courses. You can create e-commerce pages. Um, so basically today, I just want to show you a, um, a few of my favorite, um, you know, online businesses that were built using Framer. So um, I have a few of these here and just want to show you here my Google Chrome. And most of them are built with Framer Auth. And this is kind of like my favorite tool um, in, with Framer because it, it, it aligns with my vision basically of Framer for the future, which is not only people building sites just for nice design or for like static websites where you can just, you know, have a pictures and content and that's it. Here it actually adds paywalls, user authentication, um, and much, much more. And I'm actually have a bootcamp that's coming up in January. And right now there's a pre-sale for that. So if you want to, you know, get a spot for that, uh, feel free to check out the description below. I have a link to that, but basically with Framer Auth, um, you can sign up, uh, it's totally for free to try and you have a few um, starter templates that you can use and basically um, you can use these starter templates and and, and uh, build something of your own. Um, with my bootcamp, for example, not only will you learn how to use, you know, Framer Auth and, and, and understand the logic behind it, but you'll also have a few uh, more advanced uh, templates included in this bootcamp that you can tailor to your own business needs, right? So I opened Framer Auth and I want to show a few examples um, that I really like from Framer Auth. So if you go to the templates page, you can see a bunch of like a list of different online courses, um, digital goods stores, uh, personal websites uh, like, you know, advanced portfolios with uh, kind of like a Patreon, you know, like there's hidden content, blogs and, and other things, right? So uh, other things that might include like a real estate listing um, website that I'll show you right now. So let's just go um, by checking out my favorite um, Framer built web apps. So the first one is actually Frameblocks. Frameblocks I did, I, I think I made like two videos already using this component library. It's a really beautiful component library. I just built this um, landing page last night. I actually did it in one day, this whole landing pages. I mean, uh, the video it took me like, you know, another three hours to make with my friend and these pictures was another day, but just the content, right? It took me about a day to organize. It's just one simple landing page, right? But I use frame blocks and I, and frame blocks is great because um, you first start off by just adding all the different color assets. Um, you add, uh, your your text styles and then you just start um, dragging and dropping the, the different sections so i had a banner i had a nav bar i had this hero section um, i had this section over here and so on and so forth and it was so easy for me to to just build and 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 eventually just plug into my domain right so that's that's frame blocks and um basically that's that's how it was built and if we go back to chrome you can see in the frame blocks website that they, um, you know, they have a, a, a good video of how it works. You can also check, oh, look, they even have me as a testimonial. That's awesome. Um, and you can check some of my YouTube videos of how to use it. But that's a, and, but what I want to say is that they also have a sign in and a buy now uh, button. So the sign in is that once you buy it or you buy the, the product, you can sign in and, and check to see the, the, your uh, a, a special library for you and so on and so forth. And Framify is actually another component library. And that's me right here on their website. That's cool. I didn't, I, I never saw that. Um, 
but Framify is cool because they have a bunch of different um, components as well and sections, and you can actually bookmark these sections inside of your dashboard. So once you sign in and once, once you're inside your dashboard, you can see all of these sections that you like. So if you have like a specific amount of sections that you built for a specific niche, you can save them and then just, you know, repopulate them in a, in a Framer tool. So Framify is also a really good library. That This website is also built power, uh, powered by Framer Auth. Um, so these are two component libraries. Let's, let's close these for now. The next one is Nomsense. And Nomsense is a really, really interesting one because, you know, they're, they're recipes for, for, for dogs. So basically you can go here and there are a few uh, free recipes. And then the next, the other, the rest of the ones you have to, you know, pay like a monthly subscription to view the actual full, full recipe. And I think this is so creative. Like this is so niche. Um, so many people love their dogs. I love my, my, my dog, Lucy, and I would love to, you know, make her a, a nice healthy meal. So she's happy and she doesn't eat that, you know, like that, that those weird uh, dog pebble foods. Uh, so this is a really cool business um, made with Framer Auth. And as you log in, um, basically the, the recipes are made with a CMS, right? A dynamic CMS. So maybe you can, you can um, filter everything like chicken, turkey, beef. You can filter the, the, the type of diet that they want, something more vegan, something more raw. And this is all built with Framer. So this is a great example of, of a web app that you can build. The next thing is, is Homeford or Homeford. And this is more of a real estate property search uh, dashboard. So this is more of a dashboard, but you can see also quite similar to Nomsense, but this is more for the re uh, real estate community, how you can build like this type of marketplace, create different filters and have like featured properties. For example, you can search through the properties. You can have like a filter thing like this. You can search, uh, filter through offices or, or industrial or apartment, for example. And you can click, click on one, you can bookmark some of them. Uh, for example, this one, you can contact the, the specific agent. You can view the, bl the blueprint, where exactly in the map it lays. So this is a really advanced project. It has so much um, potential. If you, can, if you know of a real estate agent near, near you, you can pitch them, this to them. They'll be more than happy to, to buy this from you, right? Um, or you can do like a local real estate community and pitch different real estate uh, real, real estate agents to have their properties in your um, website. Uh, it doesn't have to be a huge thing. It can just be like a few people and you can still make good profit off of that, right? So Homeford is one of them. Then I saw this one. I guess this is just like a template, but you can build courses, right? So once you click on something, you can you can see the different modules um and you can see kind of you can have a uh, you know a progress check mark once you complete one i believe framer auth has a really good um has a really good yeah they have a really good template for this so for example if you were to click on this or launch portal you can even see that they have like a progress bar and you can implement this also to your online course because right now there's other platforms like kajabi or teachable and they're very expensive because they, they not only provide the course platform, but they do like the email marketing and all of this stuff. Sometimes you don't really need that. Sometimes you just need a good course platform and you can do that with Framer um, with something like this, right? So we saw these. And then the next thing that I wanna show you is, is actually e-commerce. So selling physical goods, not digital goods like we saw with Framer Auth, but now physical goods. So you can, actually link your Shopify store to Framer using a tool like Frameship. And basically I like Frameship the most because they actually have a plugin inside of Framer. So you can just open it here, you sign in, you connect your Shopify and it's connected inside of your Framer project. And you can just build by dragging and dropping different components. It's so simple and so, so great. Like um, if you haven't, started building or trying this out, you should do this right away. Um, but this is also one of the types of projects, um, the potentials behind Framer, that it's not only building landing pages, but you can also build Shopify shops. Shopify shops like, um, or, or Framer powered Shopify shops like 
with a design like this. This is from Specialized, a mountain bike company. You can build like component stuff like this where you can click on shop and it comes, you see the different bikes with the different um, filters based on the images, um, the title, the price. You can do like a, like a special filter like this, for example, where you have the experience and you can check on one and it filters perf uh, performance, for example. This is a more advanced thing, but it's totally possible with, with Framer and with a tool like Frame, Frameship if you want to add your products, um, your, your checkout system in Shopify. Because once you, you would, you, you know, this would be in Framer, but once you would click on this and, and eventually click, click on Add to Cart, right? And by now, it would take you to Shopify for the checkout. So that's where the Shopify comes in handy and Framer doesn't yet, at, at least. So... Um, that's that. And another thing that you can do with, with uh, Frameship um, is let's say that you don't want, you don't sell like a bunch of products. You sell like one main product, like AG1 sells their supplements. Um, you can make something like this where you have um, a showcase of your main product bundle. You can click uh, buy now. And with tools like Framer Forms, you can actually build like these smart type form type of uh, forms where you can click on, do I want the pouch or do I want the travel bags? Okay, I want the pouch because I want this to be at home. Click next. And then you have different subscriptions, right? And then you can click checkout. And then that's where you can basically, you know, buy the actual product using something like Lemon Squeezy or, or Stripe, right? Um, yeah, and that's basically it. That's just like a, like a quick little... Uh, quick little um, guide as to what my favorite, you know, what, what the potential is behind Framer and what my favorite types of projects are um, that were built with Framer or that can be built with Framer. So if you like this video, please um, don't forget to like uh, this, uh, this video actually in YouTube. And if you want to learn more about building stuff like this, please visit my, the link below. Um, we have a special discount because it's not out yet. It's going to be out on, on January 10th of 2025. So if you're watching this video before that date, please feel free to check out my link and get that discount. It's really good. You'll not only learn how to do this, you'll not only learn the logic behind building these types of projects, you'll be able to have um, you know, boilerplates that will actually um, help you uh, make these projects really quickly. And you can add these to your portfolio or actually build your own business, right? So yeah. Thank you so much. My name is Lucas and I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. All right. Bye-bye.